Point spread betting is the second most popular way to bet on sports behind the money line. And many winning sports bettors use the point spread. Some use it exclusively in their better strategies, but what does it mean and how do you use it? This video will explain all you need to know. Stay tuned. Okay, let's begin with explaining what a point spread actually is. The point spread is the bookmaker's margin of victory between two competitors. You bet on the team you predict will perform better than this line. Let's use an example to illustrate what's going on. Imagine that the Pittsburgh Steelers were to play the New York Giants in an NFL game. Sportsbooks first predict the outcome of the game and by how many points. So let's assume that they think Pittsburgh will win by 3 or 4 points. Now, sportsbooks can't write win by 3 or 4 points into their betting lines, so instead they think they'll win by 3.5 points. This also means they think New York will lose by 3.5 points. After all, the other team can't lose by a different number of points. So, with all this in mind, we end up with a point spread that looks like this. Now, if you look under each team's name, you'll see that there's a margin of victory given to either team. Each team is then given either a minus sign or a plus sign. The team with the minus sign is considered the favorite. So in this case, it's Pittsburgh, and the point spread suggests that they are expected to win by three or four points. Similarly, the team with the plus sign is considered the underdog, and in this case, it's New York, and the point spread suggests that they are expected to lose by three or four points. A team covers the spread when the favorite or underdog wins after taking the point spread into account. Okay, so let's now discuss how a point spread bet wins. Let's say you bet on Pittsburgh to cover the spread. In order to win this bet, Pittsburgh must beat New York by four points or more. If they win by three points and fewer, or they lose the match to New York, then you lose the bet. On the other hand, let's say you bet on New York to cover the spread. In order to win this bet, one of two things can happen. They can either win the match outright, or they can lose by fewer than four points. If they lose by four points or more, then you lose the bet. Now, this is a nice example because the sports books use a half point in their betting line. This means that one side of the line must win. But even though that's what they prefer to use, it doesn't always happen. Sometimes they use whole points in their betting line, so the point spread can look like this. As a result, it opens the door to a tie scenario. Picture this. There are about five seconds to go in the game between Pittsburgh and New York, and the game is tied. And Pittsburgh has created a field goal attempt from about 30 yards. If the line was set to three points, and they scored the field goal to win the game, then the bet ends as a tie because the margin of victory on the point spread bet is equal to the actual margin of victory in the game, i.e. 3 points. In a tie scenario, your original bet is returned, but you don't win anything. This isn't the worst result in the world for a sports better, but for a sports book, they haven't made any money, and sports books hate not making money. This is why they prefer to use half point spread lines rather than whole point spread lines. Alright, now let's look at how the point spread pays out. The payouts are usually the same, no matter the result. The previous odds were a great example of this. As you can see, both Pittsburgh and New York are priced at minus 110. This means you must wager 110 units to make a 100 unit profit. In fact, it's really common to have minus 110 odds on the point spread across most sports. There's one thing you should note here. If you bet on Pittsburgh to cover the spread and the line is 3.5, then your bet is locked in at 3.5. If the line moves to say 4.5 or even down to 2.5, it doesn't matter. Your bet is still at 3.5. You can find more information about points per betting on our website at ghostbettingtips.com. The link is in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.